before us here is a Bohemian, what is become to known as a Bohemian bagpipe, although it may not be the proper name for it, um, as that's where it kind of ended up being playing was in Bohemia, but it probably uh, has a different name, a uh, Polish goat of uh, this type of general bagpipe. You know, there was something else played in Bohemia. Uh, this has a, uh, this is the drone. Uh, there is a, makes a constant sound. There is a reed in here that looks like that. There is a similar reed in the chanter here. This is, has these six holes, six finger holes in front, and another tone hole here, and then one thumb hole in the back. And it has a similar reed, but smaller. It's uh, in the key of E flat. Uh, what some people are often comment on is that the uh, it's not mouth blown like what all the common most people are common with, uh, familiar with the Scottish Highland bagpipe, which has a whole different purpose um, as far as a martial instrument and a number of bagpipes uh, such as French some French bagpipes some Irish bagpipes have uh, added bellows. Uh, this type of this configuration probably didn't make it to Bohemia to the middle of the 19th century, and but it's the most popular today. It's almost um, played 100% there today. Um, they were made in uh, these were actually made in Moravia by a man Pavel Cheap, probably the best bagpipe maker in Central Europe. And this, this is a goat skin. Uh, other skins were dog historically, and um, cow horns upturned. Concord, but this is way, one way to identify Bohemian bagpipes is, is kind of where this style they're made. I, I first met with Czech Bohemian bagpipes in 1998, and I saw them. I, I knew, uh, well, to my knowledge, there was no one doing this in, in America, and, and I thought it was a good idea to bring this back. I would not necessarily bring it back at that time because I didn't realize there were bagpipers here in America in the 19th century from Bohemia, and there, after some research, I discovered there were. Um, so it actually is bringing it back. I come from Czech Republic, for, uh, from South Bohemian town called Strakonice. And um, I came here to, to look for some information on uh, uh, folk dancing originated in Czechoslovakia or even earlier in Austrian uh, empire and also uh, important for me is to meet people in Czech communities in different states here and if they have dance group I would like to help them with some dances to teach because that's my major I'm dance teacher so